How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, it's been raining a lot in my area. The trail's really muddy and slippery, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to do a quick little bike check. So before I go on, I personally wanna thank two people, and that's Mickey Mouse and Paul from Ride Havoc. Without those two people, I probably would never have had a chance to own this bike. But without further ado, I wanna go ahead and present you to my new 2020 SP150. Okay guys, here we go. I'm gonna go switch to the handheld camera. We're gonna start from the front, work our way back. This is my first bike check video, so bear with me a little bit. One thing I do wanna say is that I personally like to customize my bikes as best as I can, or anything I have in general. It's just, you know, that's the way I am. Coming from the car scene, going to the bike scene, I like to do little personal things. Okay, so let's start off with the cockpit. I have a custom stem cap from stemcaps.com. They're really great people. The quality is really nice. The artwork they do is amazing. I actually got that artwork done at Fiverr, but they kind of fine tuned it for me with the colors. You can change it, all sorts of variety with the same logo. They're really great people, so check them out. Um, I'm also rocking the Fat Bar Carbon uh, with 30 millimeter rise. I freaking love them. It does really good on chunk. And paired up with the uh, Rev Grips, which I have them in large. These things are absolutely amazing. Um, I have other videos, you know, review videos. They've been doing great. I have noticed that the large ones last a little longer than the medium. I'm also rocking the wolf tube dropper lever with the light action so it's a little longer than the original wolf tube lever. And moving right along I have the MT7 brakes. I absolutely love these so far. Um, it has four individual calipers, four individual pads. The pads are a little bit expensive. They were like 35 bucks just for one caliper. Um, I think the way they work is that they have four so it holds on. It uses the first two first and when you go full on lock on it go ahead and uses the two rear ones as well. So I might be wrong of that. I feel like the grip really good. Modulation is pretty much there. It's really similar to Shimano, but I absolutely love them. But yeah, they are a little finicky as far as bleeding goes. As you can see, I also have the X01 drivetrain, which has the X01 um, shifter. It works really good. I came from the NX and I can definitely tell the difference on the quality of it. Don't get me wrong, the NX work great. So if you have NX, don't feel bad. It just feels a little smoother, but it functions just as well. Okay, so moving on to the fork, I do have the Factory 36 170 millimeter travel with my custom slick graphics decals. It's gold with a little olive green on there. I freaking absolutely love these. Um, like I said before, slick graphics, stemcaps.com, they're both really good companies to work with. This is a custom thing, like they don't offer it on the website, but if you want a certain color, you can just put custom color, they'll contact you, and then you go back and forth. They will never print without you. Uh, proving the proof so yeah they're a really great company and i love how they came out it's like a shimmery gold kind of matches a little bit with the kashima and the olive green oh man they did a great job on that and i'm rocking the minion dhfs in the front 2.5 tan walls i freaking love these tires i'm so glad they make them in 2.5 and in tan now before they used to do uh skin walls and the skin walls seem to be a little thinner and they would bleed a lot when i would go to parks or run really low tire pressure and i've been riding these things for a while now and they haven't been bleeding or anything like that so i feel like these are the original dhs with the xo casing and everything just paint and tan which i feel like it's a lot better than the skin walls in the front i'm rocking the 203 rotors with the magura brakes this shock feels so good like at the beginning when i got the bike it was a little you know underwhelming how it felt and that's just because i wasn't set up right but once i got it all dialed down oh my god this bike feels so planted and when you go off jumps, it just really like soaks up all that roughness of the landing. It's just really, really good. Just be patient, take your time to tune it, and I promise you that it will feel great once you figure out your settings. And moving on, I do have my magnetic speaker. I have anxiety, so listening to music while I'm climbing and going downhill helps a lot. I know people hate people with music sometimes, but I do turn my music off when there's other people around. And I went ahead and, you know, made it magnetic. So it works perfect you know it hasn't fallen off yet and it works really good so i highly recommend it i have a video on that if you want to know how to make it and i'm also rocking the factory series fox float x2 at 150 millimeter travel that's why it's called the sp150 because of the rear travel um i absolutely love this thing like i said before it's just like the fork it does take a little time to fine tune it to you know your riding style but once you get it down oh man this thing feels absolutely amazing it feels like you have two bikes in one one bike that can handle the chunkiness and the fast chattery stuff and also a bike that you can jump for like a nice slow compression stuff. I don't know, I just absolutely love these 
two little combo of suspension. Fox definitely did a great job with this suspension setup. So yeah, I have the X01 carbon cranks. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't feel any difference that they're carbon, mainly it's just probably lightweight. Uh, that's another thing I want to tell you guys. My carbine was like at 39 pounds, the way I had it set up with water bottle, everything that I had on their speaker. And this one is set up around 33 pounds with the same things on it that the carbine had. So there's definitely a big weight difference. And I'm sure those carbon cranks helped out a lot. And I also have the Fiddlock 20 ounce water bottle. I absolutely love this thing. It's really easy to take on and off. It's I've never fallen off my bike, you know, on jumps, chunky stuff. I've never worried about this coming off. So it's a really great water bottle. It is on the pricey side because, you know, obviously you pay for the whole magnetic system. Uh, so yeah, I'm, like as you guys know my previous videos, I'm rocking the Magpeds. Uh, to be honest with this, at first, I was kind of like iffy about it, but once I took the time to adjust these and work on them, oh man, now that it's dialed down, these things feel amazing. But I will make a little long-term review later on and explain everything in more detail. But I absolutely love these things and I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to flats. And here's the Switch Infinity. This thing, man, like I suck at climbing. I absolutely suck at climbing. And because I suck at climbing, I hate climbing. And this thing makes me a really decent climber. Like it really does work. I don't know exactly how it works but it just feels like i can pedal a lot longer i feel like in a better position to pedal and when i go from like a step down or something like that it really feels like it's a bottomless like travel i don't know how to explain it i feel like i never bottom out even though i get pretty high up there i don't feel like that with that switch infinity and as far as my saddle i have the yeti and wtb the one that comes with the bike i guess this is the silverado one uh, and that's on top of the uh, 150 Fox Kashima coated transfer dropper post. To be honest, the Kashima doesn't really do anything to the dropper post. It's just a flex. I don't know. It just had a match. I don't know. It's just probably dumb. As far as the drivetrain goes, like I said before, I have the X01 drivetrain, the 32th up in the front, uh, the X01 derailleur, X01 cassette. It works great. It does feel a lot more crisp and it's a lot lighter than the NX. So this drivetrain definitely contributed to the bike being a lot lighter than the carbine. The rear wheel is the same as the front DT Swift 1700s m1700s uh, it works great i do have the upgraded ratchet system that's thanks to my homie Horacio. he kind of hooked it up on that part so i appreciate that buddy and for the rear i'm also running the manion dh7 oh and before i forget i have the race face tash tool and inside of it i have the rap 21 multi-tool from lasagne i highly recommend that multi-tool because there's never been a time where i was like damn i need this other tool i've had everything i needed on the trail with this little uh multi-tool from uh, Lazine. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's pretty much my bike. Uh, you know, it's basically an SV450 uh, T2 build with some upgraded brakes, bars, little things like that, little personal customizations on it. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking where I get this all good jerseys. It's just pretty much our friends and I that just started stamping stuff on shirts. So we went ahead and did a small run. It's an all good logo on it that says no bad lines, no bad days. Basically saying that as long as you're out on the mountain bike, there is no such thing as a bad line and there is no such thing as a bad day. As long as you're out there having fun with your friends and then drinking some brews after whatever it is, it's all good. So it pretty much has the all good logo on the front and it has the all good logo in the rear or in the back. So we do have two colors, it's OTB black and we also have Michelada red, which is more on the burgundy side. Uh, it does have a yellow logo on it as well and you can get a sticker with it. So if you'd like to cop one of these, just go to www.allgoodmtv.com. This has nothing to do with the channel, it's just me and my buddies just making nice little jerseys with a good message on it, you know, something cool you can wear. So hopefully this video was somewhat entertaining and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.